So we will now going to be creating our first Java FX application. Unlike the predecessor Swing, where a class used to be a child of JFrame or JApplet, here every class is a child of application. Each application needs to be launched and has to have a start method. And then the start must receive an object of stage type. Then inside the start we built our scene and scene graph. Okay, that's basically what we talked about. So to get started, we right click on the source, we go to the new, and we choose class, just like before. Now, in the name of the class, I will type Java FX Example 1. Where it says Super Class, I'll click the Browse button. And in the choose a type, I will type application. And notice, I have two choices. One of them is Java FX application. That is the one I will pick. And I'm going to click OK. So notice, that gets added as a super class. Then make sure you check public static void main, inherited abstract methods, and click finish. Once you do so, you automatically get the main and the start method. Now in the main method, what do you do? Launch. And the parameter that you receive in the main, you pass that over to launch. Launch is a static method, so therefore it must be placed in the static method main. It simply calls init, which calls start, and here is the start method which we are overriding. What does that override means? Means the parent of this class application also has the exact same definition of start. We have decided to write our own definition of start. So that process is called overriding. When you have the same name, same parameters, that's overriding versus overloading, same name, different parameters. Okay. Inside the body of start is where we need to build our structure. Scene graph. Scene graph always need a root, correct? Okay. And what we learn, root can be of three types. Group, web view are two of them, right? So we're going to be creating a group right now. So we're going to create a group equals to new group. So this will serve as my root element for my scene graph. Group is not recognized because we need to uh, um, uh, bring the import. How do you bring the import in Eclipse? Again, you can either right click on group and you can choose I want to import fx.scene or you can use a menu source and you can choose organize imports or you can use a keyboard shortcut control shift O. Either way, it will ask you which group you want to bring. You'll pick JavaFX.Scene, finish. It brings over. Okay. So far, everybody is good. Okay. Now, application has stage. Stage has. What does stage has? Scene. So I have to create a scene. I mean, literally not. I don't have to create a scene, but <laughs> a scene. Scene has to be created with an object of type scene. Scene needs a reference of root and scene needs a size. So let's say I want it to be 500 by 300. 500 pixels wide, 300 pixels high. Those are the dimensions of my scene. Again, I can organize my imports, control shift O, and it will going to add, as you can see, JavaFX.scene package with a scene class. Everybody with us so far? Right? Okay. Now, I can give my stage a title. Okay? Because stage is the main application. What is the name of my stage over here? arg0 correct okay 
I can always rename it whatever I like. Let's call this one primary stage so that you can see you can change it. So I can say primary stage dot set title example one Java FX. So I'm basically setting stage title, which is basically the title of my application. Now, after that, I need to add, oops, add the scene to the stage. So I already told you the hierarchy. Application has stage, stage has scene, scene has scene graph. So I've already added the scene graph, which is a group, to the scene. Now I need to add the scene to the stage. So I'll say primary stage, which is the name of my stage object, dot set scene, and I'm going to give it the value, which is the name of my scene. Then I need to show the stage, just like in the... Um, JFrame world, we used to have a visible method. Now we have a show method. Show the stage. So we'll say primary stage dot show. Got it, everybody? Now, how do you run it? Remember the play button? You click it and it runs it for you, the application, and here's the output. Notice the title I gave is the title that appears over here. This title. The size is 500 by 300. That's all I did. Okay? Now, let's try adding a background color to the stage. Uh, I mean like to the scene, not to the stage, to the scene. So, here we'll add a background color to the scene. Scene dot set fill now I'll use a color class remember the color class we had from java.awt package that color class we are not using we're using a javafx color class so now as you put the period here can you see the list of colors you have now Alice blue, antique white, aqua, aquamarine, azure. This is a long list of colors that you never had in AWT. And in AWT you had some lowercase, uppercase colors. But here they're all uppercase to show you that they're all constants. They're not variables. And there's a long list of them. Right? This is much longer than you had in AWT. So, uh, even there is a color called brown in here. I mean, like, I'm just just to show you, I'm like bisque. Whichever color you want to pick. As a result, you will notice that you have color class added, which comes from scene dot paint. Paint is a sub package of scene. That's where the color class comes from. So it's not from AWT. None of the AWT or Swing classes packages we are using. They're all JavaFX packages. Save it and run it. That basically allow us to create our very first, very simple JavaFX application.